team space. I don't know. It seems like they've done this, but they haven't planned it out at all. It, it feels it's like really it's weird. kind of been half done. It's like they're still trying to release a schedule, even though they're an online. Well, I, they're it not though. I don't know anywhere to find a schedule. No, no. But, well, there I isn't a schedule. No it's idea. just like we're dropping this at this time, sort of thing, isn't it? We're... Yeah, but well, to Bizarre. me, that's like a schedule. So I mean, it's like. But it's meant they're trying to model themselves more on Netflix, aren't they? And they don't. Have yeah, a but share. even Netflix, we know when no, things yeah. are coming. So they need to tell you. But this then, is coming, but then, and... unlo- un- unlike the the best way of doing Netflix, they're not releasing it all in one go. They're releasing it... Week- they have been with some things, haven't yeah. With the comedies and stuff. Yeah, and I think that's better. Did I they think, with I Flat with TV? Three. Did that all get dropped in one... Yeah, I think so. Just dropped on his face. Should we get Mar- Marcella out of the way? So this was the first English language series written by Hans Ronsfeld. Marcella <laughs> is a crime drama starring Anna Friel as the titular sort of semi-retired detective who's been on a um, sabbatical of uh, so about 10 years since her uh, yeah. second child was born. Uh, we come into it, uh, her husband's basically said, I don't love you anymore. In fact, I don't really blame him because she is a bit of a nightmare. After that, the, uh, she gets a visit from a policeman who has found there's this case she was working on before. It looks like his started again there's a new a killer who's killing like he was before basically it's from darkness again i don't know <laughs> it is and do you remember how angry i got when gary loved from darkness gary, so let's it, go gary. to gary i didn't love this but i did like it enough that i'll be watching next week there were lots of missed opportunities i suppose one of the things that i will say is that anna frill's character has some sort of mental condition that means that she loses memory of events. Is that is that accurate? I think that's my understanding. Uh, whatever it is, you've got it. But, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I don't wake up in the bath with blood on my face. Is that because you have a shower? Yeah, that's because I have a shower. Well done. Somebody sent me a direct message, and I don't know whether it's because they didn't want to say it on, uh, on Twitter itself, but they called Anna Friel's character... A little version of Saga. Yeah, and, and, and in some senses I can understand... Sure, surely that. it should have been uh, Neto, giving it the Danish <laughs> connection. <laughs> or Aldi. There were a series of missed opportunities. I think when that police officer came round to see Anna Frill's character, you had a real opportunity for them to describe and discuss and explain why she left the police force and a bit more about the case. <laughs> Which I Describe felt... and discuss and explain. No, I but love I felt, that. do you know what I mean? I felt like there was an yeah. opportunity there to show to tell the audience what had happened in the past without you having to go, you know, do back do a backstory or a back, or a flashback. This was slightly style over substance. The music slightly? and yeah, well that's what music I'm saying. Was tremendous. The, yeah, the, the, the music and the, the, bit, was rubbish. the bits where she's having the flashback, you know, the kind of ideas of memory loss just didn't need to be there. Um, also, also, I think it was very touch of cloth in places. It was very police cliche. Yeah, to what within I would an say is, life. you would not have an idea that this was from the guy you've done the Brit or a Nordy well, the the, guy. Was... Apart from the fact that you get the other stories away from Marcel yeah. doing, the yeah, you and you the know stuff. they're all going to link up. Yeah, you get well, the stuff with you, her you husband. Say, you say that her husband's storyline is linked to her. The one yeah, that yeah. you have no idea about the is cool the cool girl. The... Oh, yeah, well the. Cam- girl, girl. It? Yeah. I loved all three series of The Bridge. Matt mm-hmm. saw the first two, wasn't mad on the second one and didn't really go much further with the third, but we all loved the first. Yeah. So why why didn't we love this from the same brain? I, 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 I feel didn't... like there's nobody in it besides Anna Frill, and she is not a top lotch actress. I think she's people... good, but yeah. she's not great. There's no subtlety to it. All the performances are sort of scenery chewing. As it's mm. Sinead Cusack as the boss mm. of the husband. Yeah, she's she goes awful. way over the top. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, he, he felt like a character. I'm disappointed in, is it Maeve Demody who was in... Yes, and my favourite thing in, from, from and, and There There Were None. She's just sort of wasted thing. in this as a sort of secondary character. As I said to you on Twitter, there's no sort of... If if Marcello is Saga Norrin, there's no Martin Rowe character here. No, there's no, 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 there's no, no, no one to act as the audience's proxy. That was what Martin Rowe was. He was like... Yeah. I'm meeting this girl for the first time, as you are, 
but well, that's he, what I'm saying. Having... I felt there was mm. missed opportunities by the writing and, and that... To, we got to Johnny Vegas in to play him. I will give the second Scott. episode a go because I think there's a story... I will as well, yeah. Worth saying, I, will. Worth I will, yeah. That surprises me, I think Matt. So. Because... I might do. I don't know. <laughs> that was committal and the non-committal right in the <laughs> same... No, I'll, I'll give it... I can watch it now, can't I? You can, yeah. I might watch it now while you're talking... You... Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. It's not. We're not doing Gary Goes West again. No, you're all right. And the other disappointment with this is I really wanted to mm. like it. You know, it's eight episodes like the first Broadchurch was. Anna Friel is not terrible. I wanted to like it, but I just couldn't. I do apologise. It's nice, though, that... <laughs> Are you playing the xylophone? No, 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 someone's <laughs> calling me, but I'm just... I'm just... Well, answer, answer it, you can't no. The Custard TV Podcast will return when Gary has answered his phone call. In the meantime, please continue to hold. Your ears are very important to us, but so is Gary's phone call. We will be back with you shortly. Let's, let's, Let's leave the dirt of Marcella behind us as we wash it off. Not in, not covered in blood like her. Yeah. Uh, can, we, and, can we just talk? Can and, we just go and, back and a bit? Because one thing I wanted to, to say is what's going to make me watch next week was that <laughs> scene at the end. Is kind of like you're like, hoping for more butt but scenes. No, no. I'm saying that that final scene made me think. Oh, okay, maybe there's something here. Can I go back just briefly? Because it's a real niggle of mine. Yes, you know. The first scene, I know you know, the first scene where she's covered in blood, blah, 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 and then we flash back. Does that not bother anyone else? Is it not somebody saying, we know this might look a bit boring, so we'll show you the fir- the bit that's interesting first, and then we'll go back so that people know that that's coming and to stay tuned for it? But if that's the, if that's the most interesting <laughs> bit, then... Because it's just some woman covered in blood getting out of a bath. It's not like a. It's not like a massive. <laughs> you sound like you see that every not day. Like, but it's not like a massive stunt. Say, I remember with the driver. You you know you had yeah. that big set piece, yeah. and I think was from there to here. Did that start with the bomb? Uh, no, it didn't. In fairness to it, oh, okay. it didn't. That's the only thing I will say in different. Yeah. There, there <laughs> are other the... examples that I. I mean, the driver is that because I think you wrote an article. Prey. Prey. Prey did it as well. Yeah, both series of Prey. It I mean, just annoys but me. But in those in those cases, it was a big sort of stunt, wasn't it? It was a big sort of yeah. set piece. This, but all the this, time, you're just waiting for it to be covered but, in blood in a bath, aren't this, you? But this was this sort of bookended the episode, didn't it? So it was like a flashback at the beginning and a flashback at the end. So it's almost like two timelines. So I'm not sure. Annoys me. Yeah. And, but and also, you know, they they kept giving you the hint that you might see a bit of a bit of boob. Yeah. Bit of boob. <laughs> Bit of boob. With the court, the the webcam girl as that, well when she was in bed with the woman, and it's like we're just we're just, that, we're just going to turn, we're turning, she's turning, she's turning, edit. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Last two editors. <laughs> Undercover. Uh, this is the oh. This was, oh, <laughs> this was the Boiler. new drama that I didn't expect from Peter Moffat of Silk and uh, the Village and the Village other things he did. Criminal uh, Justice, Criminal Justice, new drama stars Sophie Okanedo as Maya, who at the beginning of the episode is uh, campaigning for death row inmate President Palmer from twenty. <laughs> yeah, you 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 just say President Palmer, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> To basically not be killed. Come on, I think of it. How far did Gary get with twenty four? Series six. <laughs> Very bizarre. <laughs> okay, carry on. Sorry. 
<laughs> series uh, six. I didn't, I didn't have Sky after series six. So and I the, fir- the, the first episode sort of split in half. The first half dealing with uh, Maya trying to get justice for President Palmer and <laughs> failing. Uh, David Airwood. He gets. No, he's not David Airwood. He's Bert. Oh, whatever. <laughs> God, that's an <laughs> awful David thing Airwood to say. was in the night manager and in um, Homeland. She thinks he died, and then there's a problem with the lethal injection, and she basically tries to campaign for not be killed. of the execution. Stay to say of execution, and then the second half sort of goes to Adrian Lester, who plays her husband, who, by all intents and purposes, we see is just like a loving husband to their three children. One has. I'm guessing autism, the boy. Yeah, certainly. It certainly seemed. He, he has trouble yeah. processing certain things that happen, and then these strange things keep happening. It looks like he's being followed, and it turns out that he is, as the title would suggest, undercover. Undercover. He's a, he's a police officer, and he's been. He was sent in originally to maybe um, investigate her because she's always been like a civil rights campaigner. I'm guessing they ended up falling in love. They haven't made that clear how the relationship came to be, but we're getting sort of flashbacks to 1996, I believe it is, when another sort of prominent uh, black activist was killed. There's also something about her applying to be the first uh, black... Director of Public Prosecution. That one, um, and that plays throughout. I, just quickly, I, th- I really enjoyed this. The performances were good. I liked the sort of intrigue of the story. I honestly think the trailers that they showed on the BBC ruined it a bit because I think the revelation that he was undercover was well done. They put that in the trailer straight away. They show, like, I'm married to the woman I'm investigating. That's that's in the trailer. And I think yeah, I, I don't agree with that at all. But generally, intriguing, interesting, deals with, like, issues of race, which is something Moffat hasn't really done before. You know, Silk well, was all BBC about. Well, the BBC hasn't really yeah, done Silk, before. Silk was honest. all about being a woman in a like a man's world, or a working class woman mainly in a man's in a, world. In a, in a this man's is all world, about being it? a black and in an upper crust world yeah, as well. And this is a, a, a similar. I didn't like this. Um, right. I felt that there were long gaps without dialogue, which I found confusing. Uh, <laughs> I felt there were... Well, that's only like Gary Goes West. Well, no, no, but... There, I, I, there, was, there were various scenes where they were using visuals when words would have been better. I did but not... But you weren't watching it. Yeah, 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 and it wasn't on mute. I didn't like the scene where she had, a, I assume, some sort of epileptic fit. No, I agree, that was a bit... Because it was never then it was then never explained or never discussed, so therefore to me it was like, well, what the hell was that about? I don't know. I just there were just bits of it that I just thought, I don't know. I didn't believe the family home life dynamic either. This idea that the mother spends so much time away and that what the dad does. I I I, I think I the only part which I thought yes was as, as I think as Matt said was the undercover part, you know, and uh, you were led to think, oh, why is he taking his wedding well, off you, before he goes in somewhere? Were you by all of the stuff with, you know, the, the, the execution and stuff? Because really. I, thought that was, I thought that was all really well done, all of that. I, I wasn't gripped by it, the... I suppose. No, I wasn't gripped by it. Luke, fact... you don't have to like it. I mean, I enjoyed it for the most part. There were, I mean, I, I agree about the epileptic... I can't, even rem- I can't even remember that, I have to say. Well, you like, may have had one yourself drives, doing it. She drives off into the desert after... I, I do mm. now remember it, now you're saying it. It's, yeah. It, mm. but it to was, me, it kind of ruined my enjoyment. They, they made the, it was quite a long scene, and they made it seem like this is an important thing for you to remember, and then, as Gary said, mm. they didn't discuss it again. It's probably but, got something to do with what happened in the 1996 scenes. You preferred like, Marcello to this. A, um, did I prefer Marcello? I'll watch Marcello again. I'm not going to say I preferred it, but I'm going to watch Marcello over. You're not going to watch this again? I don't think so, no. Oh. I don't think that... Even... I'm surprised. Even with the pedigree of Peter Moffat? That's possibly the only reason I would continue watching, is how good he is. I didn't like Adrian Lester. I, I didn't like him in Spooks. Oh, I like loved that. Adrian. I, I thought... Uh, well, I, I, uh, you didn't like him in Spooks? Him. You hated him in Spooks. I didn't like him in Spooks. Sorry, not. Well, he was never in Spooks. (laughs) No, sorry. I mean, um, hustle. Hustle. uh, Hustle. No, I didn't like him in Hustle. 
so that kid did kind of um, cloud my judgment. I, I really enjoyed it. I yeah. think maybe the problem people had with it, and and some people did, was that it was on on Sunday, and Sunday's been big drama night, and I don't think this was another big. I think it was a really good drama, yeah, the really well the done. And the night manager, haven't we? But like, I don't think this is one you get yeah. your family together, you sit down and get gripped by. But I think it was really. really